Patrick's Day, and uh, we're getting ready for our live broadcast here from uh, Sweeney's and Walden. And uh, I figured I'd kind of give you a little insight this morning as to what happens behind the scenes before we do these live broadcasts. So we've got our road crew, and they're, uh, they're working on something called the Tie Line, which is a little digital interface that will allow us to broadcast live back in the studio. Right now, the internet's not working. So uh, they're scrambling to get that uh, up and running by 6 o'clock uh, in order for the broadcast. And also, Robin Taylor had uh, all of her paperwork uh, in her car, including all the uh, sponsorships we have to read today. Somehow she lost it, so uh, she's now on the phone with the studio, writing down uh, word for word all of our sponsorships and uh, promos that we have to read this morning. So. I've got everything I need. I'm ready to go. <laughs> ready to go for the broadcast. Uh, we just uh, need Sweeney's to open up and some people to walk in and to uh, get ready for the uh, big St. Patrick's Day broadcast. If you're going to be anywhere near Walden, you got to come by. We're right here on Route 208. It's going to be a blast. The uh, Guinness is going to start flowing at eight o'clock. Uh, we've got some games we're going to play. We were going to do uh, bobbing for uh, Lucky Charms in Guinness. But uh, we rethought that, <laughs> so uh, we've got a different twist on it. Uh, right now, what I'm thinking of doing is getting uh, some listeners to cover their face in Guinness and then stick their face in Lucky Charms, and we'll count how many uh, Lucky Clovers they get, and the uh, winner will get a prize. So that's the plan right now. If we can get the tie line up and running, we'll, uh, we'll keep you posted, and uh, we'll be on the air hopefully in uh, a few minutes. So we'll talk to you then.